YouTube, it's your girl baby with another video. And in today's video, damn, I'm be doing, let me just hold the camera at this point. I was trying to use the plant. I'm gonna be doing a glow up video. So I'm doing this video because it's speaking to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I just woke up not too long ago. So I'm eating some breakfast. I'm trying to film on this plant. Can I film on this plant? I'm trying to film on the plant. All right, so I'm just gonna do this video. Um, I don't normally do this on my channel, but just go ahead and do this video and see how it works out. So I just wanna make this video for anybody that's out there cause it's been on my mind and I'm like, maybe others are feeling this way. So this video is basically gonna be titled, your friends are not gonna appreciate your glow up. I'm trying to tell you, I didn't think it was real until um, I've been in my place for two months now and um, now I understand why people say when you level up, people are not gonna be generally happy for you. I just don't know why that is like um they'll say they'll be happy for you but they they really won't i don't know why that is they just won't be happy for you and um talking about this from experience because i normally don't talk about stuff like this on my channel um i had started losing friends around the summertime that's really when i started losing friends when my um my credit score was going up and um i bought me a new car last year of um what was it 2022 the first year of 2022 i bought me a new car which was a nissan versa and i started to lose friends around that time and i didn't even have a place at the time i just know that like um i was on the breathalyzer because i was on i was on papers so I was on the breathalyzer i was paying and i felt like when i was on the breathalyzer and I was reporting and doing all those classes and all of that stuff for my DWI. That's when I had everybody around me. Everybody wanted to be cool. Oh, girl, let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's do that. Girl, we can go to the club. I got you on drinks. All that. You know, people say all of that. But, you know, I was telling them, like, I can't drink because, like, I'm on papers. I'm supposed to stay away from alcohol. I'm not supposed to be indulging in alcohol. And people, they wouldn't understand it. They're like, but girl, we could do this. Oh, oh, but we could go over there. And right then and there, as I was going through my process of me trying to stay away from alcohol because I knew I had a DWI, I realized that these people really don't give a fuck for real. They just want somebody to have an aesthetic. You know, some people, they just want to hang out with you because they want to get on the gram and they want to feel important. I don't know why that is. People pull up their phone. They want to get on the gram. They be like, oh, look what I'm doing. When actually, they really ain't got shit. They really don't do that on the real. They just do that for the gram because they want to feel like they're important. So I had to realize that like six months after. And it's crazy to me because when I was, you know, in the sunken state, you know, on papers for alcohol, there really wasn't nobody checking for me if I got in trouble. Like I got in trouble a couple of times for being on alcohol, you know, and every single time that I um, got in trouble for being on alcohol, guess what the state was doing? They was extending my time for me to stay on a breathalyzer. Oh yeah, they were extending my time. Sorry, y'all, I got to eat my breakfast, I'm starving. I normally don't do videos like this, but your girl's hungry. So, at the time, I was getting my time extended every time. And if you do not know a DWI when you're sentenced one, I know in Maryland, you um, have to pay like a monthly fee for that. So you have to pay for a monthly fee inside your car. And then on top of it, you have to pay for, I have to pay for my car note and my insurance. So I was spending like around $400 every single month for my car. So I had put the math together when I got off of it. And I was like, wow, why don't I just get a new car? Because last time I was paying the same amount for the car so i was like let me get a new car so that's why i got a new car and then my car was breaking down at the same time but i say this the people that i was hanging out with the friends that was supposed to be riding for me supposed to be my homie best friend bestie people love saying oh that's my bestie da -da -da -da. 
day, you know, um, was not not everybody wasn't having my best interest and i notice this about women especially when you're like over the age of 21 and you're in your 30s because i'm in my 30s is that people only give a damn about what they got going on they really don't give a fuck if you get pulled over and you get arrested they don't give a shit they at home with their children with their man they don't give a damn they don't care even if the girl got a boyfriend you think she's gonna care if you get locked up no if you lose your ID in the club, you think that person going to care? They're going to keep going. So I had to think about that. Fast forward to now that I really don't hang with anybody no more. I just hang by myself. It's really not a lot to really do. Um, my family, I I love my sisters. I hang out with them. And let me say, tell y'all something. If y'all got family members right now, especially if you are a girl and you have sisters, Hold on to your sisters because your sisters, that's going to be your gang. Those are the people that are going to be there for you thick and thin. Those other friends, they're not going to be there. Some will be there, but not all. And I feel like I lost a lot. I lost a lot of friends. Um, I only really have maybe, I say, one good friend left. Um, the other ones are kind of fake. They like call me here and there just to see what I'm doing. But I'm saying this because when you're on a different level, and last year is a, a I mean, not last year, because we're still in 2022, but 2022 is about to end. When things were happening for me, like my credit was going good, I was getting a new car, I was starting to work out more, I need to do more of that, I took in a break, because my booty was getting small, y'all. I was working out, running, 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 my butt was shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. I had to say, uh-oh, I can't do no more of that. I gotta get off this thing. I need my booty but um the point that i'm trying to make is when i was hanging with them people i was at my low point i barely had any money last year i could barely save 500 dollars. i would save money and i would have to take it right back out so i had to figure out like you know i don't want to keep living like this i mean i love my family i love living home because i was living at home and it wasn't living at home was actually kind of great because i got to buy whatever i wanted and got whatever i want and the place that i have now i barely need to buy anything because i bought so much stuff over the years but um i did want my independence back and i did want to um be able to just do things on my own without verification and whole bunch of noise you know because sometimes with your family members they be a lot so you know i started to look for an apartment and everything and it took me a whole year to find a place of what i wanted and especially in my price range because it's very expensive out here so i decided to you know um look around i finally found a place which i'm at now and it's pretty good and you know i lost another friend um right before i got my place I was so hurt. I was like, wow, I really can't believe that this person isn't my friend anymore. That this person was close to me. You know, I was my ride or die. Anything I would do for her still will. But, you know, sometimes when you think the people that are closest to you um, are going to be there for you, most of the time they ain't there. And I really had to just accept that that's a part of life. Not going to always be able to have everybody around you that you love especially when you lose people you know but since I lost people you know things have been different for me um I've been working saving my money trying to make these videos as much as possible but um I just really haven't been doing too much um I haven't been at the club lately because I don't feel to be there as much as I used to be and it's just been you know it's just been a lot for me to do um far as trying to stay relevant but you know i was just like when you want to be successful with something you can't always you know be on scene be at the club hang out just can't do those things just not gonna work and um i just know from here and now on that my other goals that I have, I've been writing them on paper. I just keep focusing on that. So, I'm all over the place with this video. <laughs> Another reason why people will not be happy for you during your glow up. They 
repeat, I will poop. They knew that you could do this on your own all this time, but because you were distracted by what they were doing, you were never able to get back on your feet. Ooh, that came out real quick, real smooth. So they knew you had it in you, but because you was too busy at the club with them, you too busy getting high with them, too busy smoking that weed, you know, drinking that henny, they knew that you would be distracted because when you, I noticed this one time, I was at my mother's house and our friend came over and I was supposed to film a video and I had told her, girl, I'm supposed to film a video. She was like, girl, no, let's get drunk. Let's get messed up. Let's get twisted. And guess what? I ended up getting twisted and I never got to film my video. That's what I mean. People will come by your house wherever you they'll matter of fact sometimes people will come to your job and be like oh let's go do this go let's go do that have you ever said hey you know what i'm gonna go home clean up i'm not going out i'm taking a bath i'm relaxing i'm gonna do me and then like 15 minutes later someone call you and be like oh let's go do this let's go do that i'm telling you that is a distraction you know you know that is the uh what is it saying or whatever the case is but when you have something that you want to do sometimes the spiritual realm they will definitely try to make sure that you don't get it done and sometimes you miss your opportunity on what you were supposed to do then don't you know sometimes when you do something you were supposed to do you forget about it so that's just how it is sometimes so i know that's to me like people can call me up and i'm that type of person like stop what i'm doing to um, help them or do something for them. I am weak for that. I don't know why, I just am. So um, that's something that I have to work on. And another reason why people will not be happy for your glow up is because they can no longer control what you're gonna do and they can no, they can no longer have access to your resources. I'm gonna say that one more time. They can't control what you want to do and they don't have access to your resources because I know me I'm that type of person I will give my last with no problems sometimes people be in your wallet and they really don't got it they want you to keep paying for their shit all the time go out and don't have not one dime have you ever went to a restaurant somewhere and your friend they don't have it or you go out to the club and they don't have it now I'm not talking about the friends that you pay for them and they pay you back that's something different i'm talking about the front day they never got it they never have it they never have it never ever 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 have it but they're always going out you got to stay away from them they're not going to do good in life you cannot hang around people that never have it never can pay you back because they're not going to pay you back because they simply never have it and they never have it because they're always going out so yeah um, another reason why people will not be happy for your glow up is because they know in the back of their mind that you, you was the person to be there every single time for them. And they know if you focus on something else, you can no longer be their cushion. So they're not, you won't, they won't have a pillow underneath their, their head anymore. So they're mad at you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video came from my head. I wanted to make it. Um, I'm loving y'all for loving my shorts. I'm just a regular person. You know, I'm a wild card. Sometimes I do stuff. Sometimes I don't. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to do another town haul soon. I have other content, though, that I want to put on this platform since y'all like my raw self so i'm just go ahead and keep filming stuff like this but hope you guys enjoyed this video bye